Good evening. I'm Bob Morrow, Mayor of Hamilton, back here on Cable 14. He knew what he wanted to say and he knew how to say it with verve and vigor. And I'm just very, very proud for the Tiger Cats and those who have the guts to uh, take that stand. Bob Morrow was uh, the, the man about town and you couldn't go anywhere in our city without bumping into Bob Morrow. He was doing some of the music here at the parish. At Christmas time, sometimes 40 up there. It was very precarious. You felt like at any moment, the ceiling could just give way, especially when we did that Hallelujah Chorus. Uh, Diane Haskett had been fined for not raising the rainbow flag. And so then I also learned that part about Mayor Morrow. When he says something, he means it. Eugene and Bob were already friends for life at that point. I don't think anybody had anything against Bob. He was the Mr. Nice Guy. Vince Agro and Bob Morrow were actually particularly close. They shaped the sister relationship with Rakamuka. They would both sit at the piano and, and, uh, and play, kind of a little competition, I think, but Bob was great. Bob was amazing. I'm Mayor Bob, Mayor Bob. Uh, uh, that's, that's beautiful, that's beautiful, but uh, you know what? It, it's all wrong. He was very protective of Hamilton's identity. He, he knew that Hamilton had been thought of as a working city, in decline and he knew that it needed to reshape its identity. I featured a lot of cartoons with Sheila Copps and Bob Morrow. They, they seem to be pals. So Bob and I were somehow going to go swim in the harbour. A little on the cool side but really very very refreshing. 20 odd years later and you look at what it is now thanks to Bob Morrow who really saved the day. Hamilton you have a good choice in Bob. He's just one of those people that really cares. He won, I believe, five successive elections. Most of all, Your Royal Highness, we thank you for this rare and special privilege, which we and all of our citizens will always remember. 